and a big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. And a big thanks to all the donators of $5 or more. Dead Zirkling. Radio Raptor. And Vlad Tepish 3176. You all helped make this possible. Welcome back, Insufferable Gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here, back for some more Dungeons of Dreadmore Insufferable Challenge. Last time, we cleared out a huge zoo on this dangerous level, and I beat the zoo using trickery and rocks, but mostly rocks. So now, we have a hostile magic golem somewhere, possibly on the other side of this door. If I don't injure myself too badly kicking it open, we can start defeating things using my handy dandy new acid spray attack. Which I assume will be just the bee's knees. Speaking of knees, use mine. Kick a foe or two. Ah, another shield. That shield has um, health regen on it, so it might be worth looking into replacing one of my um, orbs with it. Possibly. We'll take a look. I have been saying that I did need some health regen. Don't don't step on the trap, robot. That's not good for you. So let's just take a quick look here. Are any of these orbs something that I can stand apart with? Mm, no, these are actually pretty huge in terms of what they improve compared to the shield, which is only good for my health regen. So we're not going to do that now. But if we find something with three or four health regen, you know, that's when I start considering it. But only just. I've looked around and gotten a consensus. Apparently, I am not wrong and the rutabagas are not glitched, but they do charge, but only straightforward. So if I'm very careful, I can avoid getting myself in a bad position with the rutabagas. It would be great if I could see what's going on. Alas, I am blinded. There we go, much better. I'll just, uh, attack whatever I can. Not that it did me much good. I'll just go around the block once. By the time I get back, I'm sure the robot will have handled things. Uh, how'd this young carrot get here? It's a mystery. And that's a solution. Oh, I see you up there, ancient rutabaga. Just have to make sure it can't charge me, and I'll be... Okay. Or this one. Either one, really. Robot, you handle it. As always, the robot will handle it. We've got some bookshelves here. What wondrous new recipes. Probably not a whole lot of new recipes left at this point. But, just in case there are, I of course search. A clockwork orb could come in handy if I had tinkering, which I don't. I, wait, what trap is this? Caltrips. Did not disarm them. All I had to do was not step on them. That's all I had to do. And I failed. So sad. Yep, 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 yep. You breathe defiance and you spit your last breath for it. Uh, you step on that robot. No, not gonna do it. You know what? I can probably just kick this trap out of the way. Indeed I could. I know there's a rutabaga. I saw it on my way in. There. Go, go, go get it. You're not gonna go get it, are you, robot? Thank you. That's all I asked. That you give your 
unlifeless life for my benefit. Is that so much to ask? I don't think it is. Don't disappoint me, robot. I may do, I can make another one. Is this another loot fisk situation? No. We have a side quest shrine. Perfect. Maybe it will drop some new armor this time. What is today's side quest? We've got monsters. And they have an artifact. And they are located somewhere we haven't been yet. Okay. That's okay with me. We'll find them on the way. In theory. And in practice. Both. I can do more than one thing. But not if it involves dealing with that. That's right. It's not sporting to attack a sleeping root vegetable, is it? I think a rutabaga is a root vegetable. Isn't it? Kind of like a turnip? I think so. I'll have to look that up. You know, I'm not up on my rutabaga lore because I'm not a 17th century farmer. You don't hear a lot about rutabagas these days. They've kind of waned in popularity. I see that Diggle Commando. Always nice when it attacks the robot instead of me. Always. 100%. Love it every time. I'm gonna save my kick to kick this trap. Don't, don't do it. Okay, you're gonna do it. Great. Well, at least I can disarm the ones that have been placed around more easily for free experience. Ah, uh, you hold the pass there, Spartan. I'll just be over here exploring the rest of the room while you do it. If I could scroll them off screen, this would go faster. There we go. It's a bat. Or an existential raven. It looks like a bat. Now it looks like a bat covered in acid, but it's not. It's a raven. Now it's a dead one. And now I'm blind-ish. Yeah, I'm gonna do this all on my own. Wow, one kick. That's, uh, pretty- uh-oh. Now this- oh shit, I am surrounded, and I do not know by what. I need for this blindness to wear off. Okay, it's a Diggle Commando. I can buy myself some room, like that, and make a retreat until some of my other skills... Okay, I got a couple of them here. Um, it's alright. Kick that one to death. Just about as well as I kicked anything. And I can do this again. Or not. Mm -hmm. Let's... Ooh, only one charge on my coral wand, too. Uh, let's meet up with Mr. Robot. That seems like a good strategy. And so it was. And a sonic wand. I've wondered what those do, but I've never researched it. But now that I have one, I will perhaps get the chance. Uh, bad positioning there, buddy. Don't worry, I'll lead the carrot to you. Any second now. Here it comes. Yeah, you be the attacker, and I'll pull the mobs. It's just like playing a 
Dark Knight and Final Fantasy XI all over again. Except, you know, there's no one else screwing it up, and I don't have to wait 12 hours for a damn party. And then once I get a party, I don't understand them because they're all speaking a different language than I am. And that's why I don't play massively multiplayer online RPGs anymore. Because of crap like that. I'm gonna kick him on down the line. Oh, shit. It's an extra deadly rutabaga. Um, flee. You handle it. If you can. I'll hit it with this sonic attack. I hit something. I don't even want to be near this thing because it might actually beat my robot. Well, not too near it anyway. One more. Just in time. Awesome. No, I don't want to step on the slime burst trap. What, you nuts? I think I might have just damaged my own robot. No, I don't want the slime burst trap. I want the thing that's on the slime burst trap. Thank you very much. And that did for that. I was a largish room, full of perils. But I have faced the peril, and now must move on to more different perils. Here's some now. Like to kick it, here it goes. Wow, this klepto blobby is dodgy. Like they tend to be. Um. Yep. Doing alright. It keeps going back and forth. I don't really understand why. I don't need to. It's doing a very odd thing. I think this room will contain an anvil of Krong does. Which is good, because now I'll have the chance to upgrade a piece of equipment. Or curse a piece of equipment. You know, could go either way. Let's find out. What do I want to try for? How about the armored mage's robes? Krong is pleased. That gave me some health regen, and extra berserk chance, I believe. Uh, yes, extra haywire chance. That's, that's the series of words I was looking for. Something activated an acid trap. And it wasn't me. My robot's been regenerating nicely, though. Hey! Is that that item that I needed to find? Were those kleptoblobbies part of the gang that I was supposed to track down? Well, that's pretty handy. I'd forgotten all about it. Yep, and I got a bit of metal on a stick. Not the most useful thing I've found today. Should be worth a couple quid. Alright, what do we got here? Healing! Sweet! Very nice, very nice. Okay, looks like we got one more corner to explore. Let's head on over there. I should make sure not to walk too quickly, lest I run face first into an enemy. My sight radius is pitiful. Hopefully I can work on it at some point. I don't know what's causing it to be so low, really. Must just be some of this cursed equipment I got. Um... It took off. Ah. See? My robot sees the invisible enemies way more efficiently than I do. Oh. 
I missed a couple of doors. I missed one here. And I missed this one, of course. Time to rectify that mistake. Alright, where's my backup? We got a swarmy. You know what I'ma do? I'm gonna dig in my dig and ray my way right through this room and into this one so that I don't have to walk as far. That's a good use of abuse of my magic, isn't it? I think it is. So let's do that. Boom. Um, I am blocked by the skeleton, sadly. So, let's digging ray this way. And I can't digging ray again because I'm out of MP. But it'll regenerate soon enough. Very soon enough. See how fast it's popping up because of all the MP? regen I have going on. Yeah. Everyone likes taking shortcuts. If anyone says they don't, they probably live in Ironto. Where there is no such thing as a shortcut. Someone says, let's take a shortcut through Ironto. You tell them no. Bad driver. It always tacks at least 30 minutes onto any trip, and that's if you're lucky. Thirty minutes is a conservative estimate. Ah, we got more invisible diggles. As per usual. Let's hit him with this. Not really sure how the arc figures itself out with that acid sprayer. It seems to be at least a little bit erratic. Go on. At least I'm leveling up faster on this floor than I did on the last one. That's got to count for something. Alright, we good, we good. Let's just head all the way over here. And do things in our own specific order. You know, if this floor turns out to be smaller than the others, that's fine. Because this is one of my least favorite floors to deal with in general. Well, a voluminous robe of the vizier, not quite as good as what we got. We got buccaneer gloves, we got some rings. Rings! And none of these things are particularly helpful to me. Well, as long as I'm here, might as well unload some of this crap. Oh, I never have tried out this wand yet. I should equip it now. And see what it does. It says it causes enemies to drop their defenses. I wonder what that means. And if I can use it to my advantage. I've never been really great at using debuffs properly, but we're going to have some enemies right now. Or a Shroud of Darkness. Okay. Nope, there's an enemy. Boom. I dazed it. So I was right. We got enemies, but we also got a thing. So if this dazes enemies, you know, that's not really that useful. I wouldn't call it a top tier wand exactly. But I'll hang on to it. It could help in a pinch.
Can't see a damn thing. There, much better. Whoa, didn't see you there. I avoided having something stolen from me. That's why you don't want to tangle with these things, they'll steal your shit. If you have a ridiculously huge stack of things stolen from you by a Kleptobobby, you get an achievement, but I've never had that happen yet. And I'm not going out of my way to get it. Because why would I? If it happens, it happens. Hey, another anvil! I wonder what I will attempt to improve this time. Let's see... I got a dark orb. I got some... rings... Got a belt... How about... my sp No, let's do the gauntlets, because if those get screwed up... Not too big a deal. Yep, Krong is displeased. We got a minus two to our total life. So, yeah, probably gonna want to replace those gauntlets ASAP. What is this? Enemy dodge reduction, yeah. These gauntlets are not good. And now they're worse because they've been cursed. So, bear in mind to do something about them. Maybe I'll find a shop that sells some better gloves. But this ain't the one. And no, the shop I was in just a little while ago didn't count either, because all of those gloves sucked. Well, they didn't suck, but they weren't worth it, I would say. You, uh, doing good work there, buddy, as usual. I say as usual, as if it usually did good work, instead of pissing me off with its pathing. I like to be generous with my compliments. The trick is not to be too generous, though. Otherwise, they just stop trying. And who needs that? Here's yet more loot fisk. Um, I got some sitting around. You can have it. Uh, I said you can have it. Since these loot fisk statues seem to be um, intermixed, uh oh, gotta try it. Ah shit, I got the thaumites. That could kill me. In theory, looks like I've outrun them. And there's a rutabaga right there. And if, um, you know what? Here's how I'm gonna handle this. Keep it from charging. Haha, -ha, it ran into the wall. That's a good plan to use against the rutabagas from now on. I like this plan. it up. Don't have a lot of room to maneuver, but don't really need it. Man, I have a pathetic vision cone. You go deal with that. I'll go over here and get this. It's good. It's good. Apparently it's not dead yet. Or maybe there were more than one. I need to kick this door open using my mighty foot of iron. That didn't work. Okay, well, I guess you can stay there and rot there. Trapper's tool belt. Another burnt out wand. I guess it's nice that I have a plethora of these burnt-out wands for when I start wand crafting in Sirius. You know, stockpiling my options, as it were. 
Because it will have to happen. I just need another level or so of my wand crafting skill to go up first. Well, I can do it now, but I haven't really been using the wands because I know how bad things are going to get later in the game, and I don't want to um, be running out on the lower floors, which very much could happen. Hard cider. Dire sandwich. Wicked rutabaga. Yeah, disarm those. I did not disarm them. So many caltrips lately. Very few of them actually getting disarmed. I'm trying, though. I can take the hits right now. I am wary of my surroundings. That's what I like to tell myself. Sometimes I even believe it. Alright. More monsters? Yep. I knew it. There's always a few more monsters. Diary of the Wills. It's a tome that is useless to me, pretty much. Oh. Um, probably better be careful here. As long as the rutabaga can't charge me, I'll be fine. And I can give this carrot the ro Shit! This is what I wanted to avoid. Okay. Get that out of my way. Where the hell did my robot go? There you are. Uh, I need you to focus, robot. Like, seriously. I've got troubles and or woes. Okay, you need to die. Good. You need to die. Also good. I need to eat one of these omelets. Good, good. And robot, why the friggity hell aren't you attacking my enemies? Did you forget what your job was? Apparently it did. I have no idea what the story there is. But I made it out. Weaseled my way out of it. I was a little more danger than I should have tolerated in my doings, which have transpired. And you. You take a hit. Get ready to take another one. See, when I crit, I do enough damage to pretty much instantly take out an enemy. It's very rare, though. It's not something I can rely on at all. More caltrips. Uh, try to disarm it. Yeah. Hooray. It worked that time. We're close to being done with this level. Maybe I'll just go ahead and tough on the rest of the way through it. Might as well. You know, being this close. What's a... Oh, it's a plague tato. It's like a potato. But plagued. Clearly. Oh shit! That plague tato was poisonous. Who would have ever guessed? Let's get the hell out of there. Wait for this to die down a bit. My god, the robot, it does nothing. Is that what you've been targeting this whole time? That particular cube of bullshit? Well, congratulations, bot. You got him. Now go get something else. 
Do it. You know you wanna. Ah, oh, you woke the klepto blobby. Now feel free to go attack it. While I read this. It's not anything I need to know, but... It's nice to know that I have the information available. Is this going to open up this very chest? It did. Very convenient. Ooh, a new helmet. Unfortunately, this helmet reduces my MP regen a lot. Well, not a lot, but a little. That's a little more than I want. I like my fast MP regen options. It lets me cheat. There's no such thing as cheating in this game. You take every damn advantage you can get. Damn right. Alright. Just a few more little areas to explore. This one's pleasant enough, but with its ample cheeses. Yeah, come on, carrot. Just step right on these caltrips. It won't hurt a bit. Ha 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 ha. Lured him into a trap. I'm such a dick. I'll flank him. Yeah. Kick that box. Kick that carrot, too. I did. Kicked it right properly. Squaw in the balls. Carrots don't have balls. These might. They do seem to be quite alive. I don't really know the physiology of sentient vegetable. Z sentient vegetables. And I don't want to find out. So let me just stay right the hell out of those things this way. You're on your own, robot. It's coming after me. Why, oh why, does this keep happening? Aha! Is it dying? Not fast enough. I didn't think this through quite well enough. It gets a big kick. Maybe it can't charge when it's right next to me. I don't know. That would make sense, though. You know, you would think it would need room to build up a head of steam. Ooh, a potato. One more and I can make vodka. Which is always nice. It's nice when your crafting skills actually pay off. I can't imagine what this lever's gonna do. And I still don't know what that lever did. The world may never know. Of course there's another rutabaga, why wouldn't there be? I'm just gonna give this thing the run around. It's working. I don't want to get cornered. But it might happen, inadvertently. Ah, good, the cavalry came through after all. There were a lot of monsters in here. More than I felt like dealing with, that's for sure. But now, they are all but gone. And I can reap the rewards. My inventory is full. That's fine. More damn rutabagas and carrots. What the hell? Game? This is a little excessive. There shouldn't be this many enemies in this room. I don't think. 
That did not block that thing at all. Whoa, whoa! Don't charge me! You're fighting the robot. And it charged me. Of course it charged me. Why would I ever think anything else? My inventory is full. I need to do something about it. I'll do it very shortly. You know, after I finish clearing out the level, since I'm so close. I'll just open this stuff up first. Are we finally rid of all the monsters? Yes. Okay. One more room. Let's do this the fast way. A theoretically fast way. Jeez. Insanity. We even got a Jiggy Gnome. Well, I'm glad I wasn't standing at this door and opening it with all those monsters right there. That would have been terrible. And one more side quest before we can finish the level. Hopefully it'll be a quick one. Because I've got things to do. As far as you know. They're not important things, but they're things nonetheless. I like to give the illusion that I have a life outside of doing these video games. Spotty though the illusion may be. Just get that open. Um, feel free to go do that. Alright. One side quest and we can move on. What do we got? We got a monster that must be defeated. Where is it? All the way down here. Of uh, frickin' course it is. Alright. Oh, you know what that means. Take each every shortcut. As conveniently as I may. I'll do it. Don't think I won't. Not sure I went to Digging Ray into the shop. Well, it worked out. Didn't piss anyone off. That's good. I'm glad it didn't piss off the shopkeeper. You piss off the shopkeeper, you might as well kiss your ass goodbye. You know, all things considered. Oh yeah, I remember burrowing my way through here earlier. Alright, robot, take the fourth... You can't. You can't see it yet. How about now? There it goes. So, what kind of hideous monsters are these? They're bumblebee persons. Or maybe there just is one bumblebee person. No, there's also a carrot, but I don't think the carrot has anything to do with the mission. I'll get rid of the carrot as a matter of principle. Maybe. Let's do that. We've got ourselves a Diggle Commando. Not for long. Oh yeah, there, there's more monsters here. I bet... Uh, yep. They're all Diggle Commandos, which makes them hard to find. So, I'll let the Machine Man go after them. Except for this one. This one was foolish enough to attack me directly. Never mind that it's actually running away. I say it was coming right at me, and I'm sticking by that. This is self-defense. Um, also self-defense, getting this thing away from me. Before it's too late. Don't you corrupt my magical gear. I hate that. Okay. Okay, there's another commando. Leave me alone. 
You attack me, you jack and apes. Uh, there's at least two more. I'll just fight them myself. I think I've got this under control, more or less. I kicked that one real good, too. And boy, did it go flying. You get the acid, and you get the kick, and then I get a new crossbow. Neat. I'll bet it's better than my old crossbow. It is way, way, way better than my old crossbow, so you know damn well I'm hanging on to it. I'll just, um hold this in my hand and take it up to where that other equipment is as I go um, because that way I don't have to leave it on the floor and come back for it it's a good plan isn't it it is I'll just uh, get there quickly ignore a few of these monsters sell this crossbow on the way so I don't have to carry it like a jackass. Very good. And now, all I have to do is clean up the shit in this room. Or, the room right up here. And I can move on to the next floor. So, that is what we will do next time. Next time, we will move on to floor 6. So, until then, thanks for watching. This is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink. <laughs>